Hi, it's Slata Brouwer and you are now watching Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to improve your violin and viola playing with a joy. And in this episode, I'm going to answer a question from Poong and he writes, Dear Mrs. Zlata Brouwer, I watched a video of yours about bowing straight a couple of days ago and I would like to consult your advice about playing violin. The most frustrating problem that I don't know how to deal with is, although I have play, been playing violin for three years, I've never felt comfortable when holding my violin. I have a long neck and a thin body and according to Maya Bank's violin book, which is the only one I consult besides my teacher, I suppose that my long neck is the obstacle. Also in the book, the author said I should find a solution in raising the chin rest instead of trying higher shoulder rests. However, raising chin rest seems impossible because all the violin shop I visited, you refused to do that and suggest me to hire my shoulder rest. And they had no idea about raising the chin rest. My teacher thinks that I could use a towel of a handkerchief, but they just ease the problem rather than solving it completely. I think that the problem is, uh, it's, I think it's my major uh, problem causing many other minor effects. When I play my right shoulder holding the bow just keeps raising up, making me feel tired of the shoulder. For now I'm trying to balance my way of playing and I think that you could suggest me some solutions, let's hope so. Uh, and for last I'm kind of curious about how can some violins like Itzhak Perman or Yasha Heifetz hold the violin without shoulder rest. Even more, Heifetz violins seem to point up a small angle. I just want to feel comfortable and I can't play it with joy just like they did in their videos. I would be very appreciated if you could help. Thank you and happy new year. Um, best wishes, Poong um, from Vietnam. Well, Poong, good question. Lots of people struggle with it. Certainly if they are tall or if they have a long neck or both. Uh, what you heard at a violin shop uh, is, uh, sorry to say that, but it's not true. Probably they just say that because most common shoulder rests you can easily adjust in height. But a chin rest is just one wooden thing that uh, you can pick one out, but after that it's not adjustable in height. So I think they are speaking from um, uh, the uh, shoulder rest and chin rest that are on the market and not from an ergonomical uh, uh, perspective. Because um, I see also in lots of orchestras strange constructions uh, with shoulder rest with extra pieces and pieces of foam and stuff and it only makes your violin heavier and it doesn't make it more comfortable um, well concerning your violin holds i would just follow your teacher because everybody holds the, the violin a slightly different way and there are different ways to learn it so if you have regular lessons with your teacher then just follow um, his or her system i would say uh, what helped me a lot is that I don't hold the violin up like this anymore, but that I keep it a little bit more to the front and a little bit more like this. That I have the feeling that my fingers, I can hang on the violin like this. And it's a very relaxed hold because you don't have to put it up, pu uh, which is very, um, yeah, you're, you have to do a lot with your muscles then. Um, and you see lots of people playing without shoulder rest um, also in that way. By the way, I play with a shoulder rest, not a very high one. Um, but I'm planning to interview someone who teaches people uh, to play without shoulder rest. So that's in another video because I think uh, playing with shoulder rest myself, I uh, am not a person to explain someone else to play without. So <laughs> uh, I, I hope you understand that. Um, but as opposed to the chin rest and uh, the height, what you can, um, uh, what the problem is, is if you make your shoulders higher and higher, the first thing that happens is that the violin goes up. Uh, and that's not what we want, because if the violin is higher, then your bow arm must be higher too. And that's why you have to raise your right shoulder to get to that violin that is too high. And then you get uh, pain in your shoulder and it gets tired. And while tired is least of your problems, you can get some injury um, from it too. So don't uh, make your shoulder rest higher and higher and higher. Instead of that, you can... 
uh, put some something if you make these screws loose uh, you can put something here in between the violin and the chin rest so you can make it just a little bit um, higher um, you can do that with for example some uh, cork i think it's called from a wine bottle um, and so you can make your own ch uh, chin rest a little bit higher and search on the internet for a higher chin rest and just order the chin rest that you have but then in a higher version because if you make your chin rest higher then um, uh, you have here more space filled up and at the same time your violin will be in the same position so i think you definitely need to look for a chin rest um, if you haven't found higher chin rests or they are too expensive then maybe you can ask someone who is handy with wood carving to create a chin rest uh, f for you so you can have it made perhaps i hope this uh, will help you uh, i've seen several people with uh, the same problem and then the, the only solution is actually um, maybe some adjustment in your violin holes but definitely uh, an, another chin rest or at least a higher chin rest i hope this helps well do you like this video then please like it and share it with your friends if you'd like to receive more valuable and actionable violin tutorials then please subscribe to violinlounge.com for my free gifts thank you for watching violin lounge tv happy playing bye bye Join me in the free workshop Weight versus Pressure, where I teach you to play the violin effortless with a beautiful tone. Go to www.violinlounge.com slash free hyphen workshop to get direct access to this workshop. I'm sure it will be worth it.